Welcome to what is trending. Over time, there have been um, issues of insecurity in Nigeria, ranging from um, many years ago during the uh, government of uh, Good Luck Ebele Jonathan, when um, lots of uh, young girls were carted away from schools in Dapchi and Chibok to be rest or respectively to be precise. So, um, forward to many many years ago or years later, there were uh, sort of um, there were sort of protests to bring back our girls bring back uh, 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 Raila Shaibu and so on and so forth. These are uh, some of these protests proved futile because um, the government didn't take it into cognizance. Right now, I have a video for you. This video has a combination of different parents uh, of these uh, or aggrieved parents of these um, children that have been missing for so, so long. They have come on air to grant an interview to cry to the government saying it is or uh, enough is enough or it is enough they can't cry no more and they can't suffer no more with their daughters away from them listen to what these uh, parents with their spokesperson had to say to the government and um, they want to directly say to the incoming government to please put hands on deck tighten up security in the northeast on the north central and um, make everything go smoothly especially as it regards their lost children many many years ago watch them since 276 school girls of government secondary school Chibok were adopted in their school in the night of April 14, 2014. 57 escaped. 219 Chibok girls were missing for years until Amina Ali Keki escaped and was found on 17 May 2018. That is 25 months and 3 days after the adoption. As of today, 126 Chibo girls are back. 92 of them remain missing for exactly 3,285 days. Within this period, up to 20 parents of our missing girls have passed on, mostly from heart conditions due to the trauma they suffer and some from terrorist attack. 14 Chibok girls formerly in captivity who are now back, ranging from 6 months to 18 months of their either escape or rescue are now in the custody of Borneo State Government. Their families and communities are completely in, in the dark about the rationale of their being in custody, even though back from uh, captivity, as there is no communication about their schooling or whatever plans Borneo State Government has in mind for them. These raises questions about their faith and well-being. One, in his first inaugural speech on May 29, 2015, President Muhammad Buhari clearly stated that, and I quote, but we cannot claim to have defeated Boko Haram without risking the Chibo girls and other innocent persons held by the insurgents. Two weeks later, on 8 July 2015, during a meeting with the Kibak Area Development Association, parents of the missing Chibo girls, and the Bring Back Our Girls movement at the State House Abuja, apart from prioritizing the rescue of our Chibo girls and ending the insurgency, President Muhammad Buhari said, and I caught, I thank the leader and I thank the leader of the Chiwa community for the articulated priorities he has drawn about the welfare of the families, of the communities, and the rehabilitation of infrastructure. I think government should provide this infrastructure as a matter of right. This is the present word. Three, on 24th December 2015, 
President Muhammad Buhari declared that Nigeria had, had technically won the war against the terrorists. This without the return of one single Chibo girl or others in captivity as promised in his uh, inaugural speech. Four, two weeks later, on 14 January 2016, during a meeting with the Kibak Area Development Association, parents of the missing girl, Chibo girls, and the Bring Back Our Girls movement at the State House, following complaints, following complaints by the parents of by the parents of being in the dark and the controversy of the report of the General Sabo Fact Finding Committee, which was never made public, and the concern expressed that the investigation was neither thorough, transparent, nor inclusive, leaving more questions than answers. President, Muhammad, President Buhari on that day set up a five-man committee to reinvestigate the circumstances of the adoption as well as the action or inaction by particular persons that led to the adoption and failure to rescue our girls. The committee was to be headed by the National Security Advisor, Major General Babagana Mongono. And I still quote the, word of, the words of the President. I assure you that I go to bed and wake up every day with the Chibo girls in mind. Securing the return of the Chibo girls is my responsibility. And God knows I have done my best and will continue to do my best where some of the things he said. The investigation committee was never inaugurated, never took off, never met once to this day. Five, on 19 February 2018, 110 school girls of Government Girls Science and Technical College Dabchi were abducted by the terrorists. Five of them did not survive the attack. All of the surviving 105 of them, of them eventually returned, except Leah Sharif, who was 14 year old girl going to 15 years. We were told she was not released on account of her refusal to denounce her faith and remains in captivity to this day. The circumstances of the Dabchi abduction bear a striking similarity with that of our Chibo girls, indicating that no lessons were learned from the Chibo abduction, and even when promises were made to critically assess, to draw lessons, to frustrate any reoccurrence, this was never done. Leah Sharibu, as our Chibo girls, seemed forgotten and allowed to remain with the terrorists with no word to their parents in the same manner as our Chibo girls. Our appeal to President Muhammad Buhari as he leaves office in the next six weeks is to remember that he made promises that are yet to be fully fulfilled. There are 92 Chibo girls still in captivity whom he had a promise about. There are 14 Chibo girls who are back but held in custody with no information about them or any headway. There is Leah Sharibu who is still in captivity to this day. We are also concerned about the seemingly rising confidence of the terrorists who recently share images of their newly trained recruits. Okay, welcome back to whom it may involve or to, to whom it may concern. I would urge the government, especially the federal government, to put on hands on deck and listen to the willing uh, cries and the willing uh, voices of these parents or these fathers who have taken their time to 
grant a press conference even though they felt incapacitated at some point with uh, their uh, with their grief rising to a level where it can't be held because losing a daughter a young one at this stage and for so many years without setting eyes on her due to insecurity or insurgency reasons is really um, nothing to write home about and is nothing worthy of note please we urge the government we will call on those involved to put hands on deck and make moves positively to restore peace and tranquility to the northeast and the north central thank you for joining us make sure you like our videos share it and drop a comment for us in the comment section see you in my next video